I'm at our offices in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm here in the new studio for our weekly video blogs. We're doing everything we can during this quarantine time to expand the opportunities for people to get help, to receive information, to know how to wage war against the forces of darkness. And of course, you can do that with a virtual encounter and by enrolling in our International School of Exorcism and becoming one of the warriors for Christ that are being raised up in the last days to fight the forces of darkness. And it's never been more needed. There's something going on in society today. It's a genuine cultural and political shift. I feel it. You feel it. We know something is going on. And is this happenstance or is it organized? What's really behind this shift? And is it demonic or is it human? Or is it a combination of both? In other words, who are the surrogates on a real physical level that the devil is using? Remember, he is an immaterial being. And because of his immateriality, he needs human vessels to bring about his purposes. Who are those organizations? Could it be people like the Freemasons? and the Illuminati. Back in 1776 in Bavaria, Germany, a German by the name of Adam Wieshaupt borrowed from the Freemasons to start his own secret society. He called it the Illuminati. He said his goal was to oppose the influence of Christianity in public life and to create what he called a new world order. Now doesn't that sound familiar? In the past, many people have looked at this as just conspiracy theories, but over the last couple of years, as we've unearthed the deep state in our own American political institutions, conspiracy theories are getting a little more credibility today. By the way, Adam Wieshaupt chose as the symbol for the Illuminati Minerva's Owl. This was a sacred occult owl. Now, Minerva was the god of wisdom and war to the Romans. The counterpart to the Greeks was Athena. And both are Jezebel spirits. They are another name for Jezebel. In fact, Minerva was also connected to the Greek island of Lesbos, from which we get the term lesbianism. Now, to add to all of these conspiracies and these shadowy secret organizations, a little later, as I've written about in my book of world religions, along came the Rosicrucians, another secret society connected to the Freemasons and the Illuminati, their main purpose to tap into the ancient black magic of the Egyptians. If we add to this mixture the California-based Bohemian Grove, even some famous Republicans have been part of that, including Ronald Reagan, and Richard Nixon. And then let's consider Yale Society Skull and Bones, in which the Bushes were so prominent. It's also known as the Brotherhood of Death. Many Supreme Court justices have belonged to it. And John Kerry, the senator, one of the richest men in America, belonged to it. And when John Kerry was interviewed in national television about it, he refused to give any information about Skull and Bones and the Brotherhood of Death, intimating that it could be threatening to his life if he said anything. In other words, these societies have a code of silence and secrecy so that nobody really knows what's going on. Now if we add to this mixture the Rothschilds, for more than a century, the richest family in the entire world. What have they done? Financed the Russia-Japanese War, paid for the Suez Canal, helped to uh, found the white supremacy regimes in South Africa and Zimbabwe, as we know it today, took control of De Beers Diamonds, and they own the largest mining company in the world, Rio Tinto. Are they behind a lot of this? Is there a conspiracy? The Rothschilds, the Rosicrucians, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, etc., etc., and is the Illuminati the one organization over all of this that has an agenda to bring in the Antichrist as part of that new world order? Well, let's be reminded of something. Ephesians 6.12 says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in the atmosphere. So our ultimate battle is against the devil, and that's what we do in this ministry. We are real people fighting real demons. 
not just shadowy secret organizations. Our real battle is against the devil and the forces of darkness and the demons that possess people. We invite you to join us in this war against the forces of darkness to conquer the enemy and set people free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Enroll in our International School of Exorcism today and get the tools, discover how God can use you to help people get free, stay free, and live free. If you'd like to learn more about spiritual warfare, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all the other ways we can teach you about how to overcome evil in your life. A one-stop place with all the information at your fingertips is our website, boblarson.org. There you can see how to take the free demon test to see if you have a demon. You can also see what books we have available. I recommend if you're looking for one to get started, our book, Curse Breaking. Also, at the website, you can learn how to enroll in our International School of Exorcism and to have your very own virtual one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounter. All these opportunities, by God's grace, we make available to you so that spiritually you can know how to get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.